Welcome to Africa at the United Nations. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General of the United Nations, distinguished heads of delegations, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure and honor that I take part in the 76th session of the General Assembly representing His Excellency Felipe Jacinto Nussi, President of the Republic of Mozambique, who due to pressing issues related to his agenda, couldn't be here in New York. Mr. President, Excellencies, the world continues to witness threats to international peace and security. The prevalence of terrorism and violent extremism, combined with the proliferation and trade of arms, constitute a serious threat to peace and security at national, regional, and global levels. The African continent is amongst the most affected regions by terrorism and violent extremism. Terrorism merits the unmitigated attention of the whole international community, particularly the United Nations, given the suffering and bereavement it causes in our respective countries. It is incumbent on all of us to come up with measures on how best to defeat it. In our country, terrorist activities have been seen in some districts of the Cabo Delgado province in the northern part of Mozambique. The level of destruction of the socio and economic tissue, the atrocities and massacres, the wanton destruction of infrastructure and looting of goods belonging to communities have caused mourning, pain and profound suffering, leading to an unprecedented humanitarian crisis. Our government has embarked on a coordinated response to face terrorism with the involvement of various partners at na national, regional and international levels and we can highlight positive developments and progress in the fight against terrorism. In this context, we count on the support of our regional body, SADC. We also count with the help of the Defense Forces of Rwanda. Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, our country reaffirms our commitment towards the implementation of international legal instruments aimed at strengthening peace and security, particularly the Arms Trade Treaty, the Nuclear Weapons Non-Proliferation Treaty, and the Convention on Conventional Arms Convention. Mr. President, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mozambique has made the decision to prevent its candidature to be non-permanent member of the Security Council in 2023-2024. In the words of His Excellency Felipe Jacinto Nussi, President of the Republic of Mozambique, and I quote, the importance we attach to peace and security at national, regional, and international levels drives this historic decision to present, for the first time since our independence in 1975, our candidature to the prestigious seat of non-permanent member of the Security Council." End quote. In this context, we humbly request the support of all member states of the United Nations towards this objective. Our candidature is an expression of our firm commitment towards building and maintaining international peace and security, the preservation and respect of human rights, and the promotion of sustainable development. We therefore reiterate our commitment to serve with dedication and responsibility in order to ensure that the principles and objectives of the UN Charter remain a source of inspiration to our people in building well-being, peace and global security. We intend to put the modest yet meaningful experience of Mozambique at the UN's disposal in conflict mediation 
and resolution processes through dialogue. Let me end by once again stressing Mozambique's belief that under the United Nations stewardship and with the support of all member states, the solutions for contemporary problems, albeit challenging, are within reach and are attainable. To your excellencies, thank you very much. Did you like this speech? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tunacheki to watch our daily news reports and our website tunacheki.tv for all our latest news updates. You can directly support this news series by becoming a YouTube member or becoming a Patreon. And remember, Africa is watching.